from Angry Irishman oh my God. to Spider-Man himself to the feel-good moments. These are 20 wild moments from WWE's Elimination Chamber. Number 20, Splash City. Let's kick things off with a few splashes from the top of the chamber pots. There's Captain Charisma, a double splash by the Usos, but there's nothing like your first time, boys. The first Elimination Chamber match was special, and one of its highlights was definitely Van Damme stealing the whole effing show, as per usual. Number 19, the Irresistible Force meets the chamber pot. Remember when Nia Jax went full Rambo on Bailey? It really didn't go according to plan, though. That one looked like it hurt. Bailey outsmarted her there. Number 18, a cerebral counter. During the first ever Elimination Chamber match, Shawn Michaels was about to pedigree the game, but he forgot that the cerebral assassin always has something up his sleeve. Triple H stopped the maneuver and threw Shawn right through the pot. Oh. Oh my God. Shawn's face was a mess too, covered in blood. Hey, that's what friends are for. Number 17, Peter Parker moments. The first ever Elimination Chamber took place in 2002 the same year Spider-Man hit movie theaters. Coincidence? I think not. Since the chamber's inception two decades ago, there's been a few people who acted like they were bitten by a spider during the match. There's Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and of course, John Morrison. What the hell were these guys thinking? Number 16, Chamber Leaps. So we've covered the splashes, but some superstars were a bit more creative when jumping off the pots. You have Shawn Michaels' iconic elbow drop at Survivor Series 02, and you know damn well we can't make a compilation of wild moments without including Jeffrey Nero Hardy. He's always gotta hit a little quick swanton bomb from the top of, well, any structure. Oh Number 15, the dead man's on fire. As Undertaker made his entrance during the 2010 Elimination Chamber match where he would defend his world title, whoever was in charge of the pyro that night nearly burned him alive. Thankfully, his trench coat, hat, and the several gallons of water he poured over himself saved him. Listen, if there's one man on earth I wouldn't want to make angry, it's that one right there. Oh, and in case you're wondering, someone was definitely fired that night. I can never remember the Undertaker entering a match that way. Different. Number 14, The Prince of Parkour. John Morrison has had a few Elimination Chamber highlights throughout his career, but I second Booker T's commentary here. Because I still don't know how he did that. Number 13, The End of a Legacy. For those of you who don't know, Legacy was Randy Orton's dominant faction alongside Tad DiBiase Jr. and Cody Rhodes before he dyed his hair blonde and got an act tattoo. These two would always help Orton win matches during this time, but during the 2010 Elimination Chamber, DiBiase decided it was time to start looking out for himself, so he hit the Viper with a steel pipe that was thrown in by Cody before eliminating Randy from the match. Like his old man used to say, everybody's got a price, and his was the WWE Championship. Number 12, Otis decides it's time to leave. The big man said screw it and BAM! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I don't really know what to say here, guys. Otis is one of a kind. Number 11, the new year is rated R for revolution. This one happened right after the 06 Elimination Chamber, which was brutal. As the chamber is being raised and the only man left is Big Match Jonathan, who's a bloody mess by the way. The ultimate opportunist lives up to his name. Vince McMahon comes out and tells everyone that someone has a contract they want to cash in. Is cashing in his money and the bank privilege? And Edge, alongside his then-girlfriend Lita, comes out with a briefcase in hand. These days it happens all the time, so it's not that big of a deal. But this was the first time it ever happened, and no one had any idea how the money in the bank briefcase thing worked. Edge spears Cena once and doesn't get the job done, but immediately does it again to capture the first of many world titles. I Number 10, Goldberg spears Jericho through the pot. During SummerSlam 2003 amidst Triple H's reign of terror, the game was defending his world title against five other men inside this evil, unforgiving structure. But there was one man specifically that was cleaning up the house and destroying everything that dared to move. I'm seeing straight. Oh my God. And there was one devastating spear that stood out and will never be forgotten. Jesus Christ, this one hurt me and I'm not even there. The glass even hits Jericho in the head as it's falling. Number 9, Shayna Baszler's full rampage mode. During the 2020 Raw Women's Chamber match, Shayna Baszler just, well, decided to take a page off of Goldberg's book and destroy everything in sight. First, the Queen of Spades slammed the pod door against the Queen of Hearts repeatedly, and then she uses Liv Morgan as a human ragdoll. Man, who hurt you, Shayna? Why are you so angry? Number 8, Bailey and the Boss win the belts. In 2019, Sasha Banks and Bailey, two of the four horsewomen, captured the inaugural women's tag team titles during an historic elimination chamber match. 
This is one of the most memorable feel-good moments in women's wrestling, as everyone had been asking for this for years. These two have helped define women's pro wrestling for the past few years, and they've shattered a ton of glass ceilings along the way. Number 7. Kane throws Jericho through the pot. Wait a minute, why is it Jericho again? What are you speaking about? Poor Jericho. It was always the one who went through the pot and suffered. Number 6. Kofi's Highlights Man, Kofi Kingston has so many Elimination Chamber highlights, we decided to include two of them in one entry. There's that time when he collided with the chick magnet midair. Oh, what is happening here? Oh, oh, Kofi collided! But that's not all though. Look at this amazing DDT by Kofi. Yeah, those were cool, but I can't remember him doing anything else worth mentioning inside the Elimination Chamber. I mean, except for number 5, Kofi Chamber. Everyone loves Kofi Kingston. Fans have been cheering him ever since he arrived in 08 with a Jamaican accent. You always hear about Kofi Mania, but it all started with Kofi Chamber. With Ali being injured, the office chose Kofi Kingston to replace him in the match. It's one of those what-if moments. If Ali never got injured, Kofi Mania probably wouldn't have happened. Think about that. Ah, Kofi's reliable and he's a good performer, so why not put him in the match? It's just another guy. He's not winning anyway. Who cares? That's what the office thought. A week ago, Kofi wasn't even supposed to be inside the Elimination Chamber. No one even expected him to make it to the end against everyone's favorite environmentalist, WWE Champion Daniel Bryan. The fans started going crazy for Kofi near the end of the match. And Bryan retains his title! And this made WWE change their plans and add Cody to the title picture, which he would win a month later at WrestleMania. Kofi did it! Kofi did it! Number 4. You can hide, but, well, no you can't. I like Randy Orton. That being said, as a heel, he always thought he was smarter than everyone else. That's why it was so cool to see Sheamus bro kick the Viper as he tried to hide inside the chamber pot. No place for Randy Orton to run except... Who needs intelligence when you can kick like that? Oh my god! Bro kick! Never make an Irishman angry. Number 3. Shawn Michaels Super Kicks The Undertaker After their epic encounter at WrestleMania 25, Shawn Michaels became obsessed with the idea of beating Taker at Mania and ending his undefeated streak. And one of the best storylines of all time, the catalyst that changed everyone's road to WrestleMania happened during the 2010 Elimination Chamber. Let me give you some context so you understand how crazy this was. During 08 and early 09, Y2J and HBK were each other's nemesis. At one point during their epic rivalry, Jericho even punched Shawn's wife Rebecca. Oh, please, does the narrator not know it's scripted? Relax, buddy, let me finish. Even though it was scripted, Jericho really punched her in the face by accident. Now that you know the backstory, this is the scenario at the Elimination Chamber. Taker and Jericho are the last two inside the chamber. Out of nowhere, Shawn Michaels shows up and super kicks the dead man. Costing him the World Heavyweight Championship and allowing his biggest rival and the man who punched his wife to win it. That's how obsessed Sean was with beating the Phenom at WrestleMania. Storytelling at its finest. Number two, he's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah, okay. Well, this is gonna hurt like a mother. Yeah, this one hits different now. The legendary Bray Wyatt real name Wyndham Rotunda won his first major championship inside the Elimination Chamber in 2017. It was a shocking, unexpected, and pleasant surprise to the fans because it was a long time coming. final two in the match were Bray and AJ, so everyone assumed Styles was gonna win. But then we had the pleasure of watching one of the most creative minds in the history of the business finally win the big one. And the new WWE Champion! There will always be fireflies filling arenas worldwide in honor of this man. Rest in peace. Number 1. A Show-Stopping Return in 1998, Shawn Michaels was done. Years before Daniel Bryan and Nash defied expectations of what career-ending injuries are, Shawn Michaels wrote a book on the topic. Shawn returned for what was supposed to be one more match against Triple H at SummerSlam. After winning the match, Shawn was again supposedly done. Until he wasn't. He entered the first ever Elimination Chamber and had one goal. Make sure that Triple H didn't leave with the world title. When it came down to these two icons at the end of the match, Shawn Michaels sang some of his sweet melodies right in the game's chin. The crowd went nuts celebrating the Heartbreak Kids world title win after many, including the man himself, thought he was done. Nobody knew it at the time, but Shawn Michaels was just getting started. And there you have it, 20 wild chamber moments that had us on the edge of our seats. Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more wrestling content. By the way, if you thought these moments were good, Check out 20 insane Royal Rumble moments. Until next time.